Hello, my dear students, and welcome back to our English class. After this, you are supposed to be able to read the story, understand the story, identify the new vocabulary, use the prefix ER to make new verbs, use well in sentences and the questions to talk about the future predictions. So, in your class book, we are going to work with uh, the pages 46 till 48, in your workbook, pages 40 till 42, in your grammar book, page 36 till 38, and with worksheet number 8. We start with unit 5 I just want to ask you a question can you remember what happened when the children in so in the story in unit 4 when they went to the wildlife park because there is a TV crew coming they found that the park was full of letter in today's story we are going to discover what the children are going to do with all this letter before the TV crew come Before we read, look at the pictures and try to know what are the children doing. This is the page. This is page 46 in your class book. Our new unit is with the title Reuse and Recycle. Let's read the text in our class book, the story in our class book, page 46. Reuse and Recycle. Then, don't worry, we can help you clean up, Kate. We'll need more people. I am calling our friends and family. Libby, thanks for coming, everyone. We'll pick up all the litter and recycle it. There are bags here for plastic, metal, paper, and glass. Man, batteries are dangerous. They have got chemicals inside them. Chemicals can kill birds and fish. Ed, that's really sad. I am glad the park will be safe again soon. Libby, oh, this is horrible. I am having a bath, a hot bath, a, a later. Kate, come on, Libby. We are all dirty, but the river will be clean soon. That's the important thing. Libby, yes, you are right. Woman, look, the bird's trapped. It can't fly or swim. Ed, Poor thing, can I help? Woman, yes, you hold him still and I'll remove the carrier bag. Finn, look, the TV crew is here. Kate, oh no, they can't film yet. Libby, we are not ready. The, tech, the, the, the story, try to answer these questions. What did the children decide to do? What will they do with the rubbish after they pick it up? Why are batteries dangerous? Who cleaned the river? What's wrong with the bird? Can you predict what will happen in the coming story? Now let's move to exercise 3, page 46, where we are going to read again and write the words. We have the words kill, holds, pick, film, trap, and calls. Number one, Kate calls their friends and families. Two, they will pick up the litter and recycle it. Three, carrier bags can trap birds. Four, chemicals can kill birds and fish. Five, it holds the bird still. Six, the TV crew can't film yet. These are the answers of exercise three. Now let's together identify the new vocabulary that we have in our story for today. One, recycling center, it is a noun, and it is a place where you take old paper, glass, metal, etc., so that it can be used again. Recycling center. Two, bottle bank, it is a noun, a container where you throw away old glass so that people can use it again. Bottle bank. Three, can 
Noun, a thin plastic bag you use to carry shopping. Carrier bag. Four, paper. Noun, a flat thin material that we make from trees and we can use for writing on. Paper. Five, metal, noun, a hard shiny material that we use for making things. There are many types of metal. Metal. Six, battery, noun, something that you put inside a camera, phone, torch, etc. to make it work. Battery. Then we have chemicals. Noun, liquids, gases, etc. Some chemicals are dangerous for people. Chemicals. Oil. Noun, a liquid that we burn to make heat or power. Oil. After we finish talking about our vocabulary, let's do exercise 2, page 47 in your class book. In this exercise, we have to write the words. Number 1. Dad got oil on his clothes when he fi was fixing the car. Number 2. My torch isn't working. I think it needs a new button. 3. We take all our rubbish to the recycling center every week. 4. Batteries have got chemicals in them. 5. Can you take these bottles and jars to the bottle bank, please? 6. We put all, our, all the shopping in a carrier bag. Moving to a new part in our unit, which is working with words. In this part, we are going to be introduced to the prefix R E to make some verbs, uh, to make some new verbs. Take a look at these examples. We have move, remove, tell, retell, write, rewrite. Let me give you examples to differentiate in the meaning. For example, my a friend is telling me a secret, but I can't hear him clearly. So I'm going to ask him to retell the secret. Retell the secret. Also, I have many mistakes in my homework, so I'm going to rewrite it. So by adding this suffix, we are adding a new meaning to the verb, which is to do the verb again. Okay? So the RE adds a meaning, a new meaning to the verb, which is to do it again. the prefix re to some verbs to make a new verbs for example we have play replay try retry build rebuild moving to exercise 4 page 47 in your class book where we have to read and circle we try to recycle all our rubbish two you need to return this book to the library three don't throw your carrier bag away you can reuse it four i want to rewrite my story with a new ending <laughs> Now let's move to your workbook, page 40 to 41. We are going to start with page 40 in your workbook uh, with the exercises 1, 2 and 3. In page 14, exercise number one, in this exercise, you have to read the story and to circle the mistakes, write true sentences. You can read the story again and do this exercise. And here is the answers of exercise number one. In exercise number two, in page 40, in your uh, workbook also, you have to complete the DSD Club leaflet. We have a leaflet giving us advices about how can we uh, clean a wildlife park and keep our environment clean. So all you have to
to do is to read and to put the correct words in the correct uh, place. We have family, birds, environment, old paper, rubbish, dump. Read the leaflet carefully and answer the exercise. Moving now to page 41 in your workbook, where we are going to do the exercises in this page. Exercise number one, look at the pictures and write the words. We have recycling center, carrier bags, oil, batteries, chemicals, bottle bank, metal, and paper. How to use the recycling center? Container A is for oil. Container B is for carrier bags. Container C is for uh, container C is for paper. Container D is for chemicals. Container E is for metal. Container F is for batteries and container. Container 8 is for uh, is a bottle bank. So here is the answer to exercise number 1. Moving to exercise number 2, where we have to match the words to the definitions. So uh, we have recharge, refill, rebuild, and redecorate. Refill verb to fill a container again. Number 2, we have rebuild verb to build something together again. It's Three, we have verb to change the style of a house, home, etc. with a new paint and furniture, which is redecorate. And four, we have verb to put power back into something like a battery or small machine. It's a, it is recharge. Exercise 3, page 41 in your workbook, complete the sentences. You have to read the sentences and to complete them with the verbs. Refill, remove, reuse, recharge, rebuild, recreate, retell, return. Read the sentences carefully and do the exercise. After we are done, my lovely students, with the story and working with words, now we are going to move to our grammar book to discuss our new grammar unit. Our new grammar unit is in your workbook, in your grammar book, sorry, page 36 to 38. In the first part of our grammar rule, we are going to discuss will and want. Before we start discussing this grammar rule, I want you to take a look at these examples in front of you. In the first example, we have cars will fly in 2045. She will be a great doctor. After 10 years, we won't use mobile phones. And the last example, will you go to the university? If you analyze these examples, you can notice that we are talking about the future we are talking about the future tense in these examples and also you can see that we are using well in each of the sentences so we use well to make future predictions we predict thing for the future and we use well to write a sentence for future predictions pay attention that predictions might be true and might be false may come true and may not come true but we use well to make predictions for the future now as you can see we can use well to talk about the future to make predictions a prediction is something you think that will happen so it might happen and might not happen let's discuss the structure of the sentences where we are using when in the affirmative sentences we are going to start our sentence with a subject followed by will and the infinitive form of the verb plus the complement take a look at the examples she will be a great teacher they will make a beautiful cake pay attention that after well we use the infinitive form of the verb Moving to the negative, we are going to start our sentence with a subject followed by want with the infinitive form of the verb. Want is well plus not. Want is well plus not. So, 
we have she won't be a great teacher and they won't make a beautiful cake so will plus not it becomes want a negative sentence for the questions or interrogative we are going to use will in the beginning of the sentence followed by the subject the infinitive form of the verb and the complement of the sentence so it will be will she be a great doctor or will they make a beautiful cake so this is the structure of affirmative sentences negative sentences and questions i want you to pay attention that after will we always use the infinitive form of the verb which means we are using the base form the verb without any additions Now we are going to practice this grammar rule in our grammar book page 36 and 38. Exercise number one, page 36. Complete the text. Use will or want. So what you have to do is to read the text carefully and to complete it with will or want. And you can use the pictures beside the uh, exercise to help you with doing the exercise. Exercise number two, complete the sentences, use subject, pronouns, I'll and a phrase from the box. So as you can see, we have pictures. We should write sentences about the people in the pictures. So uh, by using the phrases in the box, the phrases are like reading books, live in a big house, wear a suit, be an actor, go to university, make bracelets. So in number one, Ryan wears jeans in 10 years time, he'll wear a suit. Number two, Martin goes to school in 10 years time, he'll go to university. Three, we are writing sentences about Tommy and in four about Beth, five Maddie, and six Julia. You can complete the exercise then to check your answers from the presentation. Exercise number three, which is related to exercise number two, you have to look at exercise number two and write questions and short answers. So we have to make questions and we can get our answers from exercise number two. Take a look at the first examples. In 10 years time, Julia like reading books. I'm going to form a question. Will Julia like reading books? Yes, she will. Two, Ryan wears jeans. Will Ryan wear jeans? No, he won't. Moving to three, uh, Martin go to university. Will Martin go to university? Yes, he will. You can complete the exercise and check your answers out of this presentation. Now let's move together to page 38 in your grammar book. Exercise 4. Look at the pictures, write questions and short answers. So using the pictures, we are going to write questions about the future. Take a look at the first example. Car use cleaner fuel uh, use. Car, will cars use cleaner fuel? Yes, they will. Moving to 2. More people ride bicycles. Will more people ride bicycles? Yes, they will. Three, people drop letter. Will people drop letter? No, they won't. You can complete the rest of the exercise alone. Then check your answers out of the presentation or this video. For exercise number Five in your grammar uh, book, page 38, we are going to complete the sentences out of exercise number four. So to complete the sentence, you have to go back to exercise number four. Cars will use cleaner fuel. Three, two, more people will ride bicycles. Three, people won't drop rubbish. Four, 
people will recycle their rubbish. You can complete these sentences by using exercise four and then check your answers out of this presentation. This is, this is the end of our class for today. I hope that you got all the ideas. If you have any questions, you can contact me on our Microsoft Teams channel.